So what are the rumours and speculation true? Has a legendary loot been stealth nerfed? Are certain legendaries left behind challenge tiers? Well today I don't actually have any factual answers for you guys but I do give you guys my opinion on this. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. Now before we start guys I just want to state there are some daft people out there talking nonsense about Outriders Ambassadors and about how they will cover up for PCF, lie about the game, are paid to big up the game and never cuss it and have indeed early info and access to private servers. I mean I wish people. Well let me tell you for anybody who thinks this way, I'm an Outriders Ambassador and that's the biggest load of BS I have ever heard. That might go for other Ambassadors but it certainly don't count for me. I will say it how it is and I've made it clear from day one, even within the private discord I am in. I won't lie or cover up BS because I'm an ambassador. If they don't like that, they can remove me, it's as simple as that. You guys at the end of the day are the one watching me, supporting me, helping me, allowing me to do what I do for a living. So you guys are most important to me. So just so you know, anything that comes out of my mouth hasn't been put there by anybody else. I will state good things when necessary and I'll state bad things when necessary, it is as simple as that. Okay, so let's move on from these nonsense rumours and onto that good shits. So I am hearing from a lot of people in the many Facebook groups I am in, Twitter, Reddit, Discord, Who Friends and more. And that is, Legendary Loot seems to have taken a dive in terms of how rare it seems to be dropping now. Now we know people can fly can stealth nerf, it's already happened. Backend updates which we don't know happen can change things. So changing a few values to make loot more scarce isn't hard to incorporate. Now if they have done anything like this maybe it's because they're on the back stick trying to fix the many problems the game is having right now and toning down on the legendaries means people will play longer to get those while things get sorted. I mean it kind of makes sense and I mean however you want to take it these days I would not be surprised. What I will state is, as I don't know for sure that anything's been changed, I can only talk from my own experiences. Over the past few days, and I will admit, legendaries for me have disappeared. I was getting quite a few last weekend, pushing early into this week. Now, and I ain't joking guys, I've run expedition after expedition, solo and in parties. Mainly and mostly on challenge tier 15, but some on a challenge tier 14. Maybe 50 runs, even more. And I've had guys, 3 or 4 legendaries, all week. And yeah for sure, I know it's all based on RNG. But the people I'm playing with are having the same luck. The people of Reddit are having the same luck. The people of Twitter are having the same luck. The people of Facebook are having the same luck. Is this just a coincidence? I don't know. I honestly don't feel they would nerf legendaries in terms of drop rates, but it isn't off the cards in my opinion as you just never know. I mean there could just be another bug in place which is limiting them. I ain't sure, but for me and the thousands of people suffering, it does seem as though something has changed. But guys, tell me what you think about this down below. Have you seen this drought? If so, when did it happen to you? Okay, so on to the other thing people seem to be speculating over and that is, are certain legendaries a lot behind challenge tier expeditions? Personally here, this isn't something I can answer and if I'm honest, I've never really thought about it due to have been at the end game stages of Outriders. For weeks now, I've only really farmed those expeditions. And when I have gone back on farm the campaign, legendaries are so scarce, I can't really judge this off my own experiences. Now I know a lot of universal gear does drop from the campaign story, but when it comes to class sets, I don't know. I myself, I haven't had anything new, non-demo or non-universal legendaries from the campaign. But I'm sure if things were locked behind the challenge tier expeditions, we can come to that conclusion within the comments section. Have any of you had any class specific legendary armors from the campaign story? Let us know down below. Again though, this isn't something I can answer right now. I mean I could go back and farm demo captains again, but I think it's just easier to talk about it down below in the comments section. I mean I'm pretty sure if this was the case and those class specific legendaries were locked to challenge tier expeditions, I think we'd know about it by now already. So someone somewhere must have had one of those class specific legendary armor pieces for either the trickster, devastator, pyromancer or technomancer and received this from the campaign story. Again though me personally, I've asked a few friends too and they don't recall getting anything like this from the campaign but if any of you guys have, let us know down below. 
and it will surely answer the question. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.